Well, in less than three hours, lawmakers are set to vote on what could be the first veto override of Governor Haslam's administration. It comes just days after the governor vetoed a bill making the Bible the official state book of Tennessee. Matthew Torres, live at Legislative Plaza this morning. Matthew, what has to happen for this override to actually pass? Well, lawmakers just need a majority vote in both chambers to override the veto. After all, majority of the House and Senate originally approved the bill before the governor vetoed it last week. Now, the Bible bill is a measure which would have made the Bible the official state book. In case the vote fails, lawmakers are working to hold a veto override session against the governor. We are learning there are enough signatures to hold this session, which would happen 30 days after this legislative session ends. The House will first vote on the override at 9 o'clock this morning. Now, on top of that, the House will also vote on the guns on campus bill, which would allow college faculty and workers with carry permits to carry a gun on campus. So again, a lot on the agenda for this morning. As soon as we find out the outcomes of both the Bible bill override as well as the guns on campus bill, we will have that on air and online. Reporting live at Legislative Plaza, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.